hello guys welcome to another tutorial video so this is an inventory management system so this is about coffee shop so this maybe you have product in the coffee shop so let's look at the product first so in this maybe in the coffee shop we have product in the system we have a list of coffee so we have the coffee then we have the types of coffee, we have the cappuccino, so maybe these are the list of coffees being sold. We have the espresso, we have the black coffee, we have the black coffee with milk, we have the latte, we have the a whole lot of them. So we have the type, maybe, so these are the coffees being sold, so maybe this coffee is on purchase, maybe, so this coffee is sold. Then we have, maybe, if you have some coffees for free, maybe you want to dash, or you want to give some of your customers free coffee. So maybe you have arabica for free maybe you have some giveaway coffees you want to give up you want to give away for your customers as well so the type is basically what the coffee is about is it being sold is it give away or for free you also have discount so discount so all this coffee are free sorry have a discount of zero so if maybe five percent maybe you just add it there in stock the number of coffees in stock then we have the price of the coffees so here you can just maybe edit the coffee details so maybe let's say we want to mocha maybe we want to say mocha with milk mocha with milk you can say update so coffee record updated successfully so in the system you can see now this is mocha with milk so you clear so you can delete add new coffee whatever so let's go to the purchase page the inventory page the more focused on on the video here so let's say you want to purchase a coffee or let's say you want to sell a coffee so first of all the cashier that is selling the coffee the username so maybe some Gideons let's say I'm selling the coffee so this is the company number you can change it so let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine so let's say that's the company number the bill type is it purchase are you selling or you are giving it for free or you are giving it away so depending on what to select and the list it will give you so if i say purchase and i come to discount zero so if i go to the coffee name this is going to give me the list the coffees being that are on purchase now let's come back here and select free if i come here so this is zero it means there are only three coffees on free here so what to select is what to give you so let's say I select giveaway i come here also so okay discount okay i didn't select the discount so okay now so it means there are only two coffees on giveaway here right here so that's it so let's go back to the purchase because you want to sell coffee so zero discount is zero so let's say we are selling maybe coffee of espresso so you can see at the down here it says in stock and at the quantity so this tells you the number of coffee in stock and the quantity you should use for so for example this coffee has a quantity of 455 so let's say we are selling about 500 coffees let's add to cart and see you say out of stock check quantity why because there are only 445 coffee or there are only 405 espresso coffee left in the system and you are selling 500 so it means you can't sell 500 because the coffee is not up to 500 so that has it so let's say you want to sell so every coffee you select will show the number of coffee in stock so let's select another coffee let's say we select black coffee with milk you see in stock changes to 800 so it means there are 800 black coffee in stock so let's say we select cappuccino yeah 631 cappuccino so let's say we are ordering one of the cappuccino so i want what i want you to take note is the stock so 
anytime you sell a coffee it's going to reduce the coffee in the database so for example this is 631 so let's say you are ordering 31 cappuccino coffees it means it's going to be left with 600 in the database so you take note we are going to verify and see so let's add to cut so here you can see coffee cappuccino quantity 31 and the 31 cost 372 dollars so that's the price so let's see let's see we are ordering one so you see you see it means there are it means one coffee one cappuccino coffee cost 12 dollars so it means the 12 dollars cost one the, the 12 dollars the cost of one so it means if it's 32 then it means this 12 that means 32 that was what it's giving you here so but now let's clear so now that we clear let's come back here so if you look at so now let's order the 31 as i said and see so let's add to cut so it means cappuccino we have 31 so let's generate this so now we can gen so be generated so this is cappuccino was 31 in quantity and the total price was 372.0 dollars so you have the cashier name the receipt number we have the date so this will dis display the current date automatically the current date automatically so now the next thing you have to do okay we can print so we have a print option here so let's print this so you see okay because i was not having a print i'm not connected to a printer so it's asking me to save this as a pdf so if you are familiar with printer if you look at this this is saying now printing this dot test dot tst so if i were to be connected to a printer i have to print this straightforward so since i'm not connected to a printer let's save it as pdf so let's say let's save it as okay coffee receipt coffee receipt okay so let's save so it was saved so let's go and look at our receipt okay so i think my receipt is not saved here okay so you can see the receipt i just saved which is the coffee receipt that just appeared so let's open it so this is the receipt i just generated so this is just maybe the address of the company so they say thank you for choosing our coffee we hope to see you next time you will see the coffee you see the coffee so the coffee was cappuccino the quantity was 31 the price was 372 dollars so total 372.0 dollars so the cashier name st gideon's the receipt and the date so for complaint call so this will generate this for you so let's go back to the software yeah so now let's go to the product page now let's look at the cappuccino coffee here. so if you look at the cappuccino here in stock it was now it's left with 600 initially it was 631 and we sold 31 so it's now left with 600 so let's go to the purchase again so let's say okay then let's say now our name is okay new cashier let's say that's the name of the cashier new cashier so let's say the the bill type okay let's say purchase discount is zero percent so let's order the cappuccino again so now it's 600 so let's order like 200 again and see so add to cut so we can display the total as well so maybe generate so okay so you can see it generated so it will generate the current date for you every time so you can see this cost 2400 and the receipt number is the cashier name so every name you enter here is going to appear here. that's the new cashier that's the new name of the cashier here. So this is there the B number, the date, 
so now let's go back to the product again and look at or we can even clear here and let's select the cappuccino again so purchase so the cappuccino was 600 so i now expect it to be around 400 because we ordered 200 so cappuccino so as you can see now it's left with 400 cappuccino in stock because we just sold 200 now so it means anytime this is going to delete anytime you order is going to show what is left in stock so you can order only when it's less than the one in stock let's say we are ordering 600 you can order 600 because out of stock so you can only order so let's say we do it like 300 so you can only order like 300 because that's the one left there's 400 left they are ordering 300 so that's so another thing okay let's say we can search for bill as well so let's say we go to the bill so anytime so these are the the total number of coffees being sold at the date so every coffee being sold and they are dates so you can see these coffees were sold on this date yeah and yeah, these are the number of coffees being so which, which means today we sold two coffees so far so you can check the receipt if you want to verify the number of coffees being sold and what date they are being sold and stuff you can see all those here so let's say you want to search in a coffee to details so again you can maybe let's say let's copy this let's go back to purchase okay let's go to purchase so you can search let's say bb okay o p e l n h so it means this coffee in the database so this coffee was sold on this date yeah right here with the cashier call se on this date so this is the this with this inventory management system for selling coffees and you can let's say we want to go to product want to add maybe new coffee so you can add your coffee the discount and whatever so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video